Hey everyone, Brett here, Altitude Scale Modeling. Time for another spur review. Today, we're going to be looking at this great big Airfix 172nd B17 kit with the bomber resupply set. I'm going to be doing my first build series with this one part a week until it's finished, including building a diorama, so expect at least six months to a year. And I will film while I'm building. Of course, I'll be building other things along the way, but that's going to be a build series, my first ever. We'll see how it turns out. I think it'll make a nice diorama piece. So, let's get on to the sprue. So, here we are. I've not looked in this kit before, <coughs> so I don't know what to expect. I know it's a new tool B17G kit from Airfix. It's supposed to be pretty good. Bomber resupply set I think has been around a little while, but I'm not exactly sure. Comes with the bomber, the Cushman package car, the Chevy bomber service truck, 500 pound bombs, 1000 pound bombs, bomb trailer, fuel truck, and auto car. There are some CAD drawings of what it looks like. And these ones go this way. A little bit of information about the 8th Air Force, what they were doing, some advertisements for Humble products, which I won't use. <coughs> Airfix Club stuff, which I'm not sure if that's even available in the U.S., but I could find out. Could be fun for the kids. So, hold on, let me here, make sure I got it untaped. I do. Okay screws for vehicles it looks like, screws for aircraft, so I don't like the whole one bag thing Airfix does, but they do it and there's nothing to do about it. Decals, color call outs, look at all that later. Oh. <clears throat> Let's open this great big bag right here. The knife. Oops, got my remote. One big bag. Clear screw or clear parts or bag separate, which is at least good. <coughs> Here's a reason not to like big bags. A couple parts fell off of there. So, for safety's sake, the prop in one of the seats, we're going to drop right back into the bag, so we don't need them. And, start with a few slides. I've built me many, many Ravel 48 scale B-17s since I was a child. Love the aircraft. Love those kits, even though they're dated. It's got some nice recessed panel lines. No rivets or anything. I'm not sure if the recesses are too big for the scale. I'd have to investigate, but with the wash and primer and everything else, it should be okay. Very nice interior detail as well. Ejector pin marks most seem to be out of the way. They're sunk in, easily cleaned up. You see there's a few in between some of the panel lining in there. But overall, the detail looks very nice. Check it out. Sprue attachment points are not overly large. <clears throat> Cleanup should be nice. Like I said, I'm sure there's probably many videos on this on the internet. Builds and everything else. So, if you want any more detail that I haven't covered across, you can either wait until mine is posted or check one of those out. This um, sprue gate fell off of here. Fortunately, it left a little bump and didn't cut into it. Again, another problem from one bag, many parts. This, to me, looks like the elevators and flaps 
ailerons are all on piece. There's some nice riveting detail in those. Raised. Give you a little zoom in. See the raised rivet detail on the control surfaces. Then, I'm not sure what these parts are, but we'll find out in the directions. All in all, so far, I'm liking what I see. <clears throat> Let's find some wings. There we go. Matching wing sprues. So, actually they're not matching. These are the top of the wings, these are the bottom of the wings. <coughs> Good thing I noticed that before I tried to put them together, huh? So, let's look at the tops. Top of the wings. These are control surfaces for probably the rudder. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the rudder. Again, nice surface detail, fuel openings, nice vents. Nice detail inside of there. Looks like they've sanded away some of the ejector pin marks in certain spots. You can see that. But you can see the texture on there where you can see where they sanded away some stuff. Hopefully they all fit together nice. And the bottoms of the wings. Same thing. Supercharger. For both engines. Where landing gear goes. Landing lights, vents. Seems before they've removed some of the stuff. Nice plastic. <coughs> <coughs> and here we have bulkheads. We've got the strut to hold the wings. We've got the bombs. This is the spar. And this is another part of the spar. Bulkheads. Looks like the, part of the bomb bay there. I'm guessing these are the 500 pound bombs. Bomb bay doors closed. Bomb racks. <laughs> oh, another nice part. Set of parts. There's not a lot of flash. Ejector or the sprue gates are pretty well small. Which I mean, really burn on the spur of the sprue. <coughs> Here we got us some wheels with the appropriate flat spots. Thank goodness. Landing gear struts. A little bit of burlite on those, but nothing too terrible. Landing gear parts. Sidewall for something. Here's the yokes for steering. Bunch of cockpit detailed parts. I'm guessing this is a rear wheel. One piece. So we've got nice tread detail on the tires. See that? These look like tires, but I doubt they are. Probably parts for the superchargers. Or another part that we'll find out. Another piece which came off of a sprue. Don't know where yet. But got to take care of it too. More bulkheads, floor. One of the ball turrets goes to there, either the top or the, probably the bottom. <clears throat> Nice detail on the machine guns. Really nice detail on the machine guns. 
bunch of tiny parts. These are seats, seat backs. One of the antennas for the outside. Turrets. I think that's a chin turret there. So I'm liking the detail. I'm liking there's no flash. No real burring. And here we got some engines that aren't too badly detailed either. For 70 second scale kit engines. Detail on both sides, radial engines. And the plug wiring parts. Covers for the cowls. I guess that'd be ignition, sorry. This thing, this is for the exhaust, which hollowed out on the end, which is a good touch. Again, the detail, it's delicate. These will hold a wash and do some really nice detailing. I guess these are backs of the engines. So the detail for 70 seconds low kit is good. There's the other propellers. And exhaust parts. Here's the superchargers. Those one parts weren't for the superchargers, but the detail on those is nice. That's where the exhaust is going to come out. Not sure what these are for, but we'll find that out later on too. The detail on these parts is really good. They're one piece. All right. I do believe, except for the clear parts, that's all the B-17 kit parts. Now, <clears throat> something that I almost forgot about is I'm super detailing this kit. Brass and guns. Let me zoom this out. Brass and guns. Rear interior detail. Some color PE, some regular PE, and then I've got cockpit detail. Both sides are there. Then I've got exterior detail, which includes parts for the engine. So there's only one in there. Landing flap detail, both sides, and front interior detail. That doesn't include cockpit, but the other parts of the front interior. So with this kit, I got five sheets of photo etch and the brass and guns. And they look okay, but we we'll have to compare them to the kit guns because kit guns didn't look too bad. So, while I'm building this and filming it, you're going to see me using some photo etch and some resin. <clears throat> Might as well check out the clear parts while we're here since. It is for the aircraft as well as the vehicles. Some of the clear parts came loose too. This is for the nose. Of course, they broke off without any damage. This is one of the turrets. Again, broke off without any damage. Pretty sure about the masks that too. I'm just not sure where I put it. I have to check because I'm gonna have to have a mask set for this. So get two main canopy sections. Cause I get now these are one for each side, one for each side. Turrets. Some parts are duplicated, some parts aren't. And as you know by now, they've already released another version of this kit. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the vehicles look like. Another wonderful single bag. For sprues. And again, more small pieces. This I don't think we need, but that obviously is a hose for something. Some more clear parts. So I'm gonna stick the hose back in that bag. And we're gonna 
tight with the fuel trailer. <coughs> nice framework. Nice detail in the trailer. Nice framework for the cab. Locker doors. They really took their time on this vehicle. No doubt about that. And just looking at the frame for the cab, how nice and detailed that is. The frame for the trailer, and it looks straight. So they didn't just throw these vehicle parts in as an afterthought. <clears throat> Some more parts, transmission differentials, very nice detail for the leaf springs, tires, hubs, single piece tires, chairs, gear shifts, drive shafts. All that detail, the hood or bonnet, since it is an airfix kit, but all that detail, very nice, very delicate, and it's going to hold a wash very well. And here we got a bunch more tires, some more framework. Almost looks like a full engine right there, but I'm sure it's just the bottom. There's the fifth wheel part for the trailer. Leaf springs, drive shafts, rear axles, steering wheel. They very well thought out all these parts. Top, interior, we got transfer case right here, air tank, a couple of fire extinguishers. The more you look at this, the more you find two more axles, exhaust. And last sprue contains another couple frame parts. Fender wells. Looks like the bed of something. More axles. But again, those frames, they're straight. They're delicate. There's no flash on them, no burring on them. Grill. top for one of the vehicles. So I'm going to say thumbs up for the detail on the vehicles. This is a couple of windshields, windshield wipers are on there, some headlights, no point in getting it out because they're just tiny little pieces of flat windshield. Right there. <clears throat> I'm not going to get it out because we've lost enough pieces. decals. Eight Air Force resupply set. So you've got B-17 decals. Looks like one scheme. Maybe two. And they're very nicely done. They're semi-gloss. Not sure if they're Cartograph. I know Cartograph's been doing several Airfix kits. Then you've got the details and the decals for the vehicles. Again, really nice. Really well laid out. And the instructions. Airfix's instructions have also gotten a lot better lately. So, a little bit about the kit. Hornby Hobbies. I'm going to take. 
now because that's the color thing. We'll look at that at the end. Assembly instructions. Nice layout. Some good color in there. I like the 3D effect of it so you can see exactly where things go. Of course, you're starting with the interior of the B-17 and the Bombay bombs. It comes with four 500-pound and two 1,000-pound bombs. And the spar, hooking the Bombay up to it. That's both spars right there. Bombay in the middle, radio controls. Putting the cockpit in there. There's the tunnel between the two. Putting it all together, the seats, the floor. If you want to buy a stand, it's sold separately. It's showing you how it could be on the stand. You have to cut those holes out if you use a stand. We're obviously not since we're doing a diorama with the equipment. More seats, more interior parts, the guns, and the ball turret on the bottom, even the actual mount. Instead of just sticking it in there, you have the real mount for it. A nice touch. <clears throat> Even though once this is all together, you're not really going to see the interior all that much. They've done a very good job of laying it out. Then we have the engines, the vents, the cowling, bulkheads, exhaust, more vents. Putting the wings on the fuselage, elevators, rudder, engines and engine detail, superchargers, exhaust, open or closed vents for the engine, which is a nice touch. Uh, tail wheel. Go put the main wheels together. Unfortunately, you don't have to put the wheels on until after you paint. The wheels can go on last. Bombay doors closed. You have to cut it if you want them open. But since we're on the ground being loaded, we'll probably have them open. Tail gunner, guns, chin turret, top turret, waist guns. Doors you can have open, so some detail you'll be able to see. Putting all the front parts together. These are all clear. Obviously, you're not going to leave them clear, but you could if you were wanted to show off that interior. The props. Then we start with the auto car. Again, nice colored to show you where assembly parts are going to go. Where assembly parts are going to go. The wheels, chassis, frame, front end, interior. Soft top, spare wheel. Frame for the trailer, for the tanker. I'm putting the tank itself together. Hoses, you can probably get some good hoses. These are the doors, they're separate so you can leave them open as you can tell. If you get some hose, you can have it hooked up to the B-17. Didn't see any figures in here, so I'm going to have to get some 70 second figures. But there's how it looks when it's all together. And I would prefer these hoses here be rubber, and they're not, so I wonder if you can buy some aftermarket. Then you're going to be working on the bomb truck, so the frame goes together, showing how the exhaust goes. <coughs> Fender walls, seats, hood, top, windshield, frame for holding the bombs, and there's the bomb trailer. This is the bomb trailer with the bombs on it and the package car which is just a little package car what more can you say color calls for the vehicles obviously they're going to be olive drab with some fading and some rust on them more than likely and the bomber resupply vehicles some more here's the chevy truck the pushman cart that's it for the instructions Color call out for the B-17.
Thunder Mug. It's probably aftermarket decals. I might look into that. It looks like, according to this, the port wing has been replacement. Which is why it's not olive drab. Replacement tail. Slightly lighter version of camouflage. So apparently this was repaired with parts from other ones. So there you go. And that, my friends, is the 72nd B17 kit. Sorry for the glare. With the bomber supply set. <clears throat> be doing a diorama with it. I'm not sure if it's going to look like that or something else. I'll have to look up some of my reference shots. You know, this picture is a very good shot. You can see the wing is silver, natural metal. This one's olive. So, the build on this will start, I'd say, next week, November 1st. Then, once a week, there'll be a new video of the build progressing going up. Just video of me building. You can build along with me, watch me. I'm going to check out aftermarket decals and possibly resin engines to see if I can get those. So, I hope you enjoy me. I hope you enjoy the build. It's going to be a first for me. I've never done a build series before. But I'm going to do, like I said, one a week until it's done. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. Now you go out there and you decide what you're going to build. Build a good kid.